Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video talking about the title for The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode Number 8, which is called Made to Suffer. So, what that's referring to, for those of you who have not read the comic books, because I know a lot of you haven't, is uh, this comic book or this trade paperback right here. This story arc is called Made to Suffer, Volume Number 8. And uh, on the cover here you can see... Uh, the governor, uh, who in the TV show is played by David Morrissey, he looks nothing like this. Uh, really tall um, leader of Woodbury Group, who, who will be introduced to next week in next week's uh, episode for sure, with uh, Andrea and Michonne being at the Woodbury uh, camp. Um, by the way, if you haven't read this and you kind of want to, if anybody wants to see my reviews or just get a synopsis on the story of the comic books, I've done reviews for every single one up to I think 17 or so, 16 or so. And um, this is my favorite trade paperback in all of The Walking Dead. It is absolutely the craziest one of them all. Um, it has probably the most deaths of any of them. It's the most shocking. It's the point when when I read this, The Walking Dead after this became my favorite comic book series I've ever read. And I have read a lot, a lot of different titles over the years and everything. And after reading this one, it became my favorite ever. Um, so if you want to, if you want to hear the review for this, uh, I'll put it in the description. It's pretty lengthy. I think it's like ten minutes or something, maybe longer. Uh, and you can go and watch that, and uh, you know, uh, hear everything that happens in this and what it's pertaining to. Uh, that being said, it does contain spoilers from the comic book. So anybody who hasn't read it or is worried about that, um, you might not want to watch it. But if you're not, go right ahead. Um, the television show is not the same as the comic book series. It's not. Um, the characters are not going to die at the same time. Um, you know, they may make a lot of different decisions for what's to happen. I don't think they're going to follow and do everything uh, exactly how it is in the comic book series. They haven't. Uh, pretty much from um, maybe like actually the fourth episode of the first season. After that, they really have done a lot of different stuff season two and, and they really changed things around they still did most of the stuff that was in the comic book series but a lot of it will be different you could have different events happening different characters have characters dying at different times like shane who lasted a whole extra season um then he probably should have or a lot longer than he should have um dale dying way sooner than he did in the comic books and lots of other examples for different things they've done so now as to what the title of episode eight is pertaining to obviously referring to this but at the same time I don't think it's gonna have all the events that are included in this because this uh, volume and this story arc and everything that happens in this is uh, you know there's so many characters that die in this volume it's it's just nuts so I can't see them killing off that many in the eighth episode of this season because you've got the whole rest of this season to go and uh, word is that the governor's story arc will take up all of season three and season four, which makes sense because the governor is around and is the main villain in The Walking Dead up until the point when Negan comes around. He's the main one. Negan could maybe overtake him as being the main villain of the series, but so far, the governor has the most time of anybody. There's no other character that we actually get to see uh, The Walking Dead from their point of view that's not a part of Rick's group, that's a part of another group. He's basically the only one that actually we get to see his side of the story and what happens with him. And of course there's actually even a couple novels I think, uh, which I haven't read because I'm not too big into just reading straight novels about the Governor character uh, there. So uh, doing some predictions for it, what do I think is going to happen? Well, I think we're pretty much guaranteed that we're going to see at least one or two character deaths in that episode. Um, will it be from the governor? I think probably. Uh, we'll probably see a meeting between the two and, and something happen to, you know, a couple members of Rick's group. I think probably Carol is on the, uh, the chopping block. Herschel's still on the chopping block. Beth has always been on the chopping block because she wasn't even in the, the comic book series at all, I don't think. Um, as far as I know. And, you know, all the other characters too because the actors also have been a part of this now for three years because or what I mean is they've been a part of this for three years, so as a result, some of them may want to leave the show. And if they do want to leave the show, they'll just kill them off, um, which we could see happening quite a bit in the next couple of years is some major character deaths could happen at different times when we didn't expect them to. Um, do I think they will kill somebody like Lori in uh, Episode 8? I mean, 
It could be. It, I mean, it could be, man. But I, I tend to think that would be a season finale death, you know, when they kill Lorioff. It'll probably be either season three finale or season four. Uh, I'm not spoiling anything because I don't know myself. I'm just making predictions. So this is just me talking. This is not really spoilers. You know, I don't know when they're going to do it or what they're going to do. I mean, she could survive forever. Who knows? But uh, I would say probably if I made a prediction that that would be a season finale type thing. So obviously somebody else has got to die. Um, should be really interesting, though. I, they wouldn't use that title if it wasn't really, um, you know, meaningful. Also, Herschel has been suffering a lot, lost his farm, lost his leg now, you know, from the bite. And, uh, you know, so, you know, made to suffer could be referring to him, actually, uh, instead of Rick in this instance. Um, but either way, I'm really excited for it. Can't wait to see the rest of the season, man. So excited. Uh, and that should be a good one because that's the, I think that's the mid-season finale. Because I think they're doing eight episodes, the break for winter time for Christmas and all that. And then another eight episodes after, uh, after the break's done. I think that's what they're going. I don't think they're doing seven and nine. I think it's eight and eight. So that would be the mid-season finale. And if you remember from last year in season two, uh, pretty much dead already, episode seven, that was a stellar, stellar uh, mid-season finale. I mean, I remember when that happened, Sophia came out of the barn. Everybody went goddamn nuts on the internet, like crazy. They thought it was the... Craziest thing ever. So I'm expecting something like that to happen. Major character death, probably. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know who you think it's going to be, or multiple people. Um, do you think they'll do? Do you think they'll kill Lori? I don't know, man. Maybe her. Maybe the actress, uh, uh, Sarah. Maybe she doesn't want to do it anymore because everybody hates her. She's got to want to get killed off soon. Plus, she's got money. She was in prison break and other stuff too. So she she can get other gigs. Maybe it is her, man. Anyway, let's hear your predictions, guys. That's it for this one. See you for the next one. Trev, same